Second thing that Alan uh, asked that I just address uh, is, uh, you know, customer determining customer cu customer demand in a competitive environment. This is hard to describe quickly, but I'm going to describe it. There's one tool that I have found for 25 years is the very most helpful thing in assessing customer demand, and that is doing research on simply what is important to the customer. Just just ask the unprompted, what are the top 10 things that are most important to your customer? And then I, I call it a customer comb. You do a graph where from most important to least important, you graph what your customer says. Well, it's price, or it's service, or it's winning, or it's concessions, or it's parking, or it's whatever it is, unprompted, what is most important to your customer? And then you go back and ask the customer, how are we serving you in those categories? And so you plot a graph that shows what's most important and how you're serving. And then you can quickly tell whether you're over serving in some categories or under serving in others. When that customer comb lines up completely in every category, then you're gonna be successful. It's such a simple concept and so many businesses just ignore it. What, what does the customer say is most important to them? And this will change by customer segment. The wealthy, high ego customer who wants to sit on the front row is gonna be different than the guy buying in the cheap seats. So you have to, by customer segment, understand what's most important. And then once you understand what's most important, you plot how you're actually taking care of their needs. Now rate us in that category. If price is most important, how do we stack up? Well, you're, you're too high in a particular segment, or you're about right in a particular segment. It's called a customer comb, and if you understand that about your customer base, I guarantee you will be lined up for success.